Hi, and welcome to Catherine Figures. I'm your host, Caitlin, and today is Wednesday, the day of all days. And, of course, I have my What's in My Pool Box video for you guys. So, as per usual, it's kind of a decent size stack, you know. But, um, let's start off first with my DCs, just because it's normally my biggest. So, first off is uh, Aquaman, issue 28. Not gonna lie, I'm a few issues behind on this. But I, you gotta love that cover. I mean, Arthur and Dolphin looking awesome. Almost getting eaten by a creature. You know, stuff happens. Next is Trinity, issue 13. So, can Constantine save the soul of Red Hood? So that's pretty cool. Red Hood's on the cover. I love Red Hood, so... You know, Trinity's been a really solid book. So, really excited to see John Constantine interacting with them. And, um, I love the variant cover so much I had to get my hands on it. So, it's a really good Zatanna cover. Kind of creepy, kind of eerie. I like it. I don't really know who the cover artist is for this, so I guess Google it. Oh. <laughs> um, next is Superman issue 31, and it's face face off with Deathstroke. So I do really love that cover, and I'm really enjoying what they're doing with Deathstroke right now. So. Pretty excited to see exactly what's going to happen between Superman and a Deathstroke who isn't killing right now. I mean, he's killed a few people since he stated that he was no longer killing people, so it's okay, they were bad guys. But um, continuing on, I picked up Super Sons issue 8, so this is the Planet of the Capes storyline. Super Sons has been a really fun read, so if you're looking for a solid read, I would definitely check that out. Next, I picked up the variant cover for Super Sons issue 8. I'm not normally a big fan of, of uh, this artist's variant cover for this run, but I don't know, I loved it. The guys, they're just... They're getting ready for business. I kind of love it. I had to have it. So, pretty awesome there. Next, probably the big book out of this week, and that's Dark Knight's Batman the Red Death, a metal tie-in. So, it's a holographic cover. Um, if you do pick this up, definitely do not forget to pick up your free uh, cup, your free button. These buttons actually come with the purchase of each of the Batman, the Dark Batman one shots. So definitely don't forget that. I picked up two. So one's for me. One, the other one will probably be for my brother because he always forgets to get everything. So I have two buttons as well. Um, Next is Nightwing, issue 29. So this is Gotham Resistance, part 2. So we got to see a little bit of a sneak peek into this at the end of The Last Teen Titans. So it's going to be uh, Nightwing and the gang running around being chased by uh, a bunch of frost monsters. Because, you know, the Batman who laughs is... Uh, Definitely starting things off strong. Oh, another really sad thing about this. Uh, Tim Seeley is going to be leaving the title soon. So that's going to be kind of devastating when that happens. A little bummed. But um, next is Green Arrow, issue 31. It's 
been a pretty great read, especially lately with him teaming up with all of the various league members. So, pretty excited about that. Next is Harley Quinn, issue 28. So this is the Vote Harley storyline. Um, if you're currently reading the Harley Quinn run, you'll know that she's been having a lot of issues with the mayor in uh, in her area. So she's uh, she's decided that she's going to be the mayor of New York. And uh, yeah, more power to her. I hope they elect her. I seriously doubt it. But, uh, you know, if they do, we might end up with something along the lines of, like, Vote Loki, which I really enjoyed the hell out of that. So, as always, I picked up the Connor cover. Really, really great. And, of course, I had to pick up the Cho cover. So, this is gorgeous. We have both of her babies on either side, so... Pretty excited about that. Next is Batman, the War of Jokes and Riddles storyline, and it's issue 31. Really great cover. Um, not gonna lie, I am enjoying it. I am enjoying it, but I really wish they would just get back to the current time and be done with the War of Jokes and Riddles. The War of Jokes and Riddles, as good as it's been, it's kind of the war that never ended so far. So, I mean, solid cover, but I'm excited to see what's next. Um, next is Green Lantern's issue 31, the variant cover. I actually don't read Green Lanterns as a rule, but I needed this cover. I mean, hell, Simon Paz, you look amazing in this cover. So I had to get it. That was really awesome. Uh, next is Justice League issue 29, and it's the continuation of the Legacy storyline. Or as I like to think of it, Wonder Woman really hates her son, the book. Yeah, um, Wonder Woman probably shouldn't have kids. Sorry, I said it. At least not in this storyline. Yeah, Hitch. No. Moving forward is uh, from Wild, from um, Ellis's Wild Storm issue seven. So. Really great cover there. I always get the Lee covers, so pretty pumped about that. Next is a Marvel book, and this actually came out last week, but I heard something about it, and I need to read it for myself. That um, I know they're totally teasing it, and it's not actually going to happen, but. Um, that bl someone told me that Black Cat dies in this issue. I know there's no possible way they're going to kill Black Cat if they're going to have a Black Cat movie coming out. There's no possible way they're going to kill her. But um, either way, I'm really pumped to read this and see what it's all about for myself. I've heard really great things about the Defenders run. I just haven't been reading it. So maybe, maybe if it's awesome, I'll pick it up pick up some of the back issues. Next is from Boom Studios, and that's Go Go Power Rangers number three. Um, we all know I love Power Rangers. It's been pretty good. It's not quite as good as the Kyle Higgins run, but still, still pretty good. Next is Shirtless Bear Fighter issue four. So, it's been crazy, it's been all over the place, it's been, honestly the best way to put it is, it's been spectacular, and I'm all for it. I love crazy, ridiculous, just amazing image books like this. They need more of them. So, very excited about that. 
Um, next is Snot Girl, issue seven. I don't know a whole hell of a lot of people that are actually reading this. I love it. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, her hair actually matches uh, my shirt right now. So that's kind of cool. That your hair looks like... That her hair matches my shirt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. My shirt is the same color as a tennis ball. It feels like a tennis ball, too. So. You look like a tennis ball. I feel like a tennis ball. It's awesome. Yeah, I used to play tennis, so, you know, don't completely mock me. I even played it a bit in college, so don't completely mock me. But um, it's just been a really, really fun read. I love the art throughout. It's been super crazy, and you never really know if you can actually trust what she's been seeing or if it's just side effects of her allergy pills. So, love Snot Girl. Next on to the Aftershock train, and I picked this up after several people told me to, and that is Dark Arc number one. Out of the covers that we got at my shop, this was my favorite, so I thought that was pretty awesome. But um, I believe John was the one who finally talked me into picking this up. So, yeah, I picked it up. I picked it up. I still need to read it, but I will be doing a review of this probably tomorrow. So look out for that. And last but certainly not least is World of Animosity, the one shot. So I love animosity. I know everyone is probably sick and tired of me talking about how much I love animosity. I love both the titles that are currently coming out. I'm super excited about the third one that's going to be coming out. And this is kind of a uh, look behind the scenes and a expanded look into things. So I'm super into it. I mean, Sander and Jesse, awesome as always, you know, loving it but yeah that's my week in comics as always give me a like if you like this video comment below and tell me whether or not you'd like to see a review of any of these books whether or not you think i left out anything that i should go back to my shop for um tell me what you thought of any of these books as well. Uh, as always guys, subscribe to my channel for more comic book content or check out any of the older videos I have up for offer here on Cat Run Figures. And until next time, I'm your host Caitlin. Bye. So wait, with your two buttons, does that mean you can have your own button story? Uh, no, I have the Watchmen buttons though. I do have the Watchmen buttons. These aren't it. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>